Thank you for joining me very much on this Saturday. I hope you're having a good weekend. All right, I, I, this channel is not about clickbait, but I don't want to shy away from anything because the models are showing a spin-up of either a tropical storm or a hurricane way down the road. This would be November 3rd. Do I think this is going to happen this way? No, because models show crazy stuff when you get way out in time. But is it possible? Yes. And let me explain why. So I don't want to shy away from anything. I just want to dive right into it. First, let's get to the models. This is a long-range tropical model. This is today. And you can see some rainstorms, Bahamas, Costa Rica, uh, Panama. We've been seeing that. And a better chance of scattered storms, my friends, in the Eastern Caribbean, Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Jamaica, even parts of Cuba, but mainly Eastern Cuba, not quite as much as we work our way over toward uh, Belize. But scattered showers and storms in the short term. Now look at this. Look at all this rain. This is with a front. I mentioned how fronts kind of build up this time of year. This is a front in the Eastern Caribbean. Plus, you get the tropical waves that still move in. So you get a front and tropical waves. And a lot of times this time of year, they kind of combine. And that could lead leftover moisture in the Caribbean. That's why I look close to home for development. And this would be as we get deep into next week, the 28th. That is next Friday, way down the road. There could be leftover moisture from a front, a tropical wave moving into the Caribbean, and that could leave some leftover moisture. If that happens, yes, there could be a spin-up of a hurricane or a tropical storm. But again, that is way far down the road. We usually don't get uh, huge things this time of year, but it is plausible but look at this. This is by the time we get into the 31st. And yeah, let's just go out on time into the month of November. And again, this is so, so far down the road. But if there is leftover moisture in the Caribbean, yes, something could spin up. So let me take into November 3rd. And yeah, some of the models are showing this. This would be, again, uh, 15 days or so away spin up of a tropical storm. That's a potential. Is it going to happen this way? No, because this is so far out in time. With that said, this is exactly why I look close to home this time of year. Because again, as I mentioned, tropical waves still come in. They're usually not too terribly strong and you get old fronts. So if that kind of merges the moisture, yes, something could develop every other year, a, a tropical storm, even a hurricane, some name system develops in the month of November. So again, this is what I'll be watching out for. All right, let's get back to it right now. Again, Rosalind, that is spinning out there, a hurricane, a powerful hurricane. I'm going to dive into that. We've got a cluster of rain and storms. Southern Caribbean, there's that old front from Cuba, Jamaica, back toward the Bahamas, and a new invest, which just means an area of investigation. Not seeing anything super Super crazy with that, but the latest on that wins at about 34. In the short term, it may develop a little bit. Sometimes you get things kind of spitting out there, but they get caught up in a fronts. Plus, let me show you the five-day kind of uh, feel on this of where it could go. Down the road, it is going to enter into cooler water. So short term, maybe a little development down the road, enters that cooler water, gets caught up in a front, no big issue. Let's get back to here. I'm thinking of our friends in Mexico on the Pacific side. Winds right now on Roslyn, uh, 128 miles per hour. It is moving generally to the north, northwest, starting to make its curve back inland or back to the coast life-threatening flooding as it works inland so as it works in we're going to be seeing easily a foot of rain mudslides in rock slides with this. This system is very powerful. Taking out in time as we get into later today, winds could be around 138 miles per hour, gusting to 167. Category three, category four hurricane. It is intensifying now, so really bad situation as it gets closer to the coast. And then as it moves right on shore by tomorrow morning, uh, we're going to see some of the winds. Obviously, once it hits land, it'll start weakening. Winds 121, gust to 150, and then after that, quickly becoming a tropical storm. But mudslides, rock slides inland with that life-threatening flooding, please seek higher ground. Those alerts have been issued. The warnings have been issued. All the models in good agreement. It's been uh, in, They've been in very good agreement um, as we've gone over the last few days, fortunately, giving folks time to prepare. Then some of the leftovers may get tied into a front, working its way back into South Texas. Again, it's not going to be a tropical system at that point. May enhance a little bit of that rain for my friends as we get into Texas. So the worst conditions moving on shore starting later today. 
tonight, really even later today, into early tomorrow morning, and then quickly working inland after that. The hurricane warnings are up. This is going to make landfall as a, a major hurricane flooding a huge issue. Obviously, the winds, the surge, all that sort of stuff we've been talking about all season. So we're thinking of you in Mexico if you are in the path of Roslyn, a very powerful system working in. And you can see the wave heights, left-hand side of your screen. This is in feet. I'm going to try to get something in meters, but this is in feet about 15 to 20 where it is. Now, let me just take you out on time. A lot of captains, uh, mariners, uh, fishing interest on this uh, channel. So I'm going to zoom this uh, time frame out. I kind of like this product. I know this look is a little bit different, but look on the right-hand side of your screen. You see those deeper purples? The seas are going to be building. This is by the time we get into Sunday and Monday. But let me take you out in time further, Monday, Tuesday. This is about Tuesday of next week. Let me let the uh, computer model catch up. And you see approaching the Caribbean, that deeper purple. So some higher seas. I was mentioning this yesterday. Seas 10 plus feet, 10 to about 12 feet. Got a few tropical waves out there, a couple tropical disturbances. So again, the seas are going to be building. Also, look at the western Gulf of Mexico. Seas uh, picking up a little bit too. We've got the fronts, leftovers of Roslyn. So the seas will be higher. Now, if a name system does eventually develop in the Caribbean, Caribbean or out in the open waters of the, the Atlantic, the next name on the list is Lisa. So still kind of busy this time of year, but I do want to mention if you're watching from Mexico, I'm thinking of you as this system moves in. Thank you for sharing this channel. Thank you for being part of this weather community. I hope you have a good weekend ahead.